you have missed uh, trading opportunities in the forex market in gold and silver market then you are exactly in the right place we are going to discuss what important trends are expected in the next week in forex market and in gold and silver market and the gold and silver miners market we'll also discuss the gdx which is gold and silver miners etf my name is shaheen and welcome to elliot wave analysis Elliot, um, and today discuss today's video we are going to discuss euro british pound canadian dollar japanese yen new zealand dollar and dxy i will uh, i will try my best to give the whole next week uh, what we expected to see uh, to see throughout the next week uh, in the after we have done with the forex section we'll discuss the minor section first we'll discuss the gold and silver metals and after discuss we'll etf which is gdx after that we'll discuss um NEM which is uh, Newmont Corporation and Metalla and then uh, wheat and precious metals so we'll discuss them one by one so let's start the important point about uh, one thing that I love about LUTV analysis is that you don't have to look you don't have to start when the cycle started the cycle wave started for example seven years eight years ten years the beauty of the Elliott wave analysis is that you can recognize patterns in a smaller time frame and that includes daily time frame although it's extremely volatile I love to trade myself on the daily time frame and uh, so you need almost two three weeks of data you can look at whether the previous wave was impulsive or corrective and that's where you start your analysis from and that's how exactly we are going to start in today's analysis so we can see right now so let's go back just a bit okay we can see right now that either the previous impulse wave started from over here or way over over here and it's all an impulsive move and then we have seen a correction okay you can start from over here you can start from over here it's up to you i'm not discussing the labeling the simple point is that we have seen a trend and we have seen a correction after that we have seen a clear trend downward and after that we have seen an accumulation pattern i discussed this pattern by the way uh, you might have missed it last week we were able to forecast this price movement and this price movement and I was able to indicate that we are to expect a reversal right over here so let's see what's happening we have a pre a 5F structure right from the top we can say 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and a 5F structure as per Elliott wave analysis it has to be followed after um, 5F structure has to be followed with the 3 wave correction within the 3 wave structure we have completed wave A which is double zigzag wave B which is a flat correction a lot of new elitations right now stop over here they look at the structure and they most often would go uh, like A it's a W it's an X and then we are gonna see a zigzag which is Y and that's gonna complete a double three structure alright or they are also expecting that okay maybe this is a zigzag this is a flat pattern in that case we can go up come down and go up and complete a double three structure but a lot of time uh, when you when you get a lot of experience and then through experience you'll uh, you'll realize uh, that accumulation and distributions patterns are important once they occur they are kind of precursors to long movement and that is exactly what we're expecting in today's um, in next week for uh, forex right now discussing euro so that's exactly what we're discussing for euro right now now you can take a guess of why although I'm considering this as C so what's expected right over here on a smaller time frame my main forecast is that from this bottom we are to see prices going all the way either in this area or over in this area and so this is to be dominant trend of the next week this is the main forecast that we can tell from Elliott wave analysis we do not need a, a more complicated overview of what's exactly said this is the one true trading setup if you want you want to be really more precise we can definitely look into it but the clear pattern that we are seeing is an A, a B and a C right over here we do need to understand that we have a previous structure collection right over here could there be a possibility that this correction is part of that previous structure right over here and then we are still going through wave A is complete wave B is complete and we can actually a form about a double top right over here there is a good possibility about it we are not we cannot deny about it right so right now we are looking at two different patterns first of all the large the smaller pattern which is we are considering this as an impulsive wave and this is an corrective wave we have completed wave a wave b 
and right now we are looking for a five year structure going upward somewhere in this range right over here okay uh, we are also need to understand that this region that is, is a very very important support this top region that we are seeing so we can actually bring our target kind of a little in this region um, so this structure itself is going to be very important and this structure is going to be very important in providing the, the target right over here but we are also going to be aware there is a potential that we can actually see right over here so we, after we have completed the next week we are need to spend some time to make sure that we have created a top on a smaller time frame if you are wondering what is that we have gone up and we have seen a reversal and let's go dive that back on a 15 minute chart pardon me so this is a 15 minute chart and a lot of time when you draw support and resistance studied um, then they kind of give you a lot of link right over here this is the uh, the trend line which is encompassing the previous wave C this is an A B and C a flat correction right over here we can see a clear trend line developing right from over here we can see prices went up right over here the jump happened very nicely you can refer back to my previous analysis we were expecting right from over here prices to go in this area find resistance come down back and a reversal right over here this the the drop that happened I'm myself in a trade but I'm still I wasn't able to get out of the, the market because I'm expecting from over here to all the way over here so nothing to worry nothing to worry let's see what happens so on a smaller time frame I'm considering this hole as a wave one and this hole as wave two and still going on so let's have a look at labeling time frame here is uh, impulse wave this is the start of pattern we can consider this as wave one and this as wave two okay and I'm expecting this to be wave three right over here somewhere over in this region and then wave four and then wave five finally up right over here let me bring that right over here so we can actually make some sense of the data we can go right over here Okay, you can call right over here. Okay, this is just an example. These are not the exact point, but approximation. The important point right here is that the prices have come down sharply. What to do with that? It, it does not look really very natural. We have one and such a uh, small amount of time period, and then we have seen a price reversal. So in this regard, I'm thinking something on these lines that we have only completed way way off the the correction wave B of the correction and then we are going to see wave C of the correction remember that I'm not betting on this this is a 15 minute chart and I do not like to make things just using 15 minute chart but I'm kind of trying to give you an explanation a possible smaller time frame this could be wave 1 this is an A, a B and C when prices drops below C this will be actually covering the previous trend line right over here a lot of time I've seen this light of time happening and you also be seeing a double top on a smaller time frame so this is what I'm expecting right now on a smaller time frame this is uh, that's on 15 minute time frame once this is complete we are to see price right over here and then when once prices fall we can probably expect prices to stay above this region right over here they cannot become aware in this area and then shoot off I'm expecting that this is going to be the dominant trend for the next week I would, s I would say maybe three four days so Monday is off I'm not sure uh, if Forex is open or not Mon Monday is off in US it's in, in Canada it's a long weekend so I'll have to check with my um, broker calendar whether it's on or off let's have a look at British pound British pound is in um, interesting situation though uh, it did go up but then th the drop happened quite a bit They're giving us an indication one thing the previous structure that completed we thought were complete right over here is yet not complete let me say what happening so we are expecting something like this right now a similar pattern and then one impulse wave downward a smaller impulse wave downward we need to understand that the when impulse wave downward happens that can be truncated right, truncated it can end over here or it can come into this area and then the pressure in the euro market uh, is going to push the prices right over here because we have already seen a higher high uh, being formed in euro market so this is it is probably a 15 minute chart probably we'll see in the earliest part of the next tr trading day 
and then I'm expecting we are to see some behavior like this a lot of you guys are not gonna love it um, the analysis that I'm giving for British Brown the uh, one of the most uh, difficult patterns to recognize and to work on is expanded flat pattern okay so right now you guys can clearly see that with this whole structure we have right structure over here we have structure right over here and we have structure right over here and over here or over here either case we can see a larger correction is here let's say you want to consider this correction with part of the larger correction and the larger impulse wave ended over here that's fine with me too the important point right over here is that's the drop right from the top right over here is impulsive you want to call it that no this is not an A, a B and C that's fine working with me the whole point is that we have seen a large drop from the top right over here and then we need to correct we need a corrective wave for the correction of a whole price movement right over here uh, my own experience is telling me that we have completed a 5 wave structure again you don't have to agree with this I'm considering this as an A this is wave B a lot of choppy price action and then I'm expecting that we are to see some stronger price movement something like this in British pound right over here so the next week next three to four days are to be very dominant uh, on the bullish side against US dollar what we can do for the confirmation we can definitely use a trend line right over here once prices go up and come down once prices go right over here and start coming down we can use the trend line uh, to get a confirmation that okay we can right now take a longer trade on the upside this is British pound I'm expecting British pound to be bullish next week it's a very simple trading setup we have an impulsive move downward either ending over here or over here and always an impulsive move needs to be followed with a corrective move right over here with the forces that we are occurring we are seeing in the uh, parallel market that's like euro Canadian dollar Japanese yen dollar index itself gold and silver there is a high probability of return and that's why I cannot say that the price is going to continue right from over here drop all the way right from over here that's why I'm expecting a correction in British pound a better way would be to wait for a confirmation let's say we are going to see something this so we can wait for the break of this area we when the structure is complete we can wait the break of the horizontal support we can wait for the break of the diagonal support and then we can go long and once we do that I'm expecting that it's expected to stay for a good while um, maybe three four days so a dominant trend would be bullish British pound and a bullish uh, euro for next week let's have a look at Canadian dollar Canadian dollar once again let's have a look at what we are seeing right now starting from this bottom we can clearly see that we have a clearly a bearish structure right over here on an early time frame let's have a look and I'll spend time a little more time in explaining how I have reached right over here if you look at this correction right over here if you look at this right correction right over here if you look at these smaller corrections right over here you can definitely see that this part of the wave is kind of dividing the whole wave in uh, two equal parts right over here and then we have correction another equal part right over here so it kind of gives you sense of um, I'm not talking about one and two right now just forget about it. it kind of gives you division that okay we had a main trend and then we have seen a division from Elliott wave analysis either you'll see this longer behavior in wave 2 or in wave 4 a clear clear structure that wave would be larger than the smaller waves right over here smaller corrections right over here so here you can clearly see that we have wave 1 and 2 wave 3 and 4 and wave 5 right over here so this is where it comes that I'm considering that this 5 wave structure is complete there's also a guideline from Elliott wave analysis where we combine the uh, wave 1 and wave 3 the length is combined wave 1 2 and 3 is combined and we can see that the whole length is equal 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal uh, or is some sort of proportion as computed the length of 5 we can quickly do so and we can see if we can find some equivalency right over here so let's uh, from the start of 1 to end of 3 right over here so you cannot say 2 because we are right now just combining from the start of one to the end of three this is a better way to say maybe I was not saying it properly so right now we can say we can say that how give me a moment if I can move the the tool okay there it is so right now kind of we are seeing that this area is just one by one nine portion of more so the previous is eight by eight and this is nine by eight so hundred and 
112.5 kind of give you guys an indication yeah kind of 112.5 this is 100 percent and the next one is 112.5 percent all right just a smaller thing let's have a look uh, one more thing i want to test right over here some little details uh, this is falling right at 50 percent as you guys can see that wave 4 is falling right at 50 percent and also sometimes when you draw the whole thing of it you'll see that wave 4 will still actually be making an important uh, percentage right now it's not visible but if you actually divide that whole two lines and then we can see that wave 4 is kind of fi fitting in the 1 16th of this portion right over here so we have one box which is two smaller boxes another two smaller boxes and 5 by 16 basically total length of it what I mean by this is let me draw once more smaller one right over here okay so I'm talking about these smaller boxes that we have seen we have larger boxes and then we have smaller boxes each larger box has one has two smaller boxes so we can right now see that the from from the bottom to the top were eight so basically 16 boxes this is five boxes and that itself is how many boxes for, for that we have to consider let me have a look eight boxes and three eleven boxes so interesting if you want to play around with it go ahead spend your time and play around with it the important point right now here is that I'm considering this why five wave structure for some reasons I you know as you go through the market you develop some sense of the market of kind of uh, it comes with experience so right now I'm considering this whole price movement as wave A and this price movement as wave B. We were expecting for the wave A to go all the way right over here, something like this, but it did not happen. We are still in the correction. The reason is because we were completing an expanded flat. So this is what I'm expecting in Canadian dollar right now. That wave A is complete and wave B is complete of the expanded flat and we are to see prices drop right over here. Within wave C, we can see the prices came down and sharply gone up. I'm expecting a similar price action in wave B right over here. A smaller wave 1 is complete right over here. That would be smaller wave 2. I'm not betting on it. My main concern is that we are going downwards. So on a 15 minute chart, you can see a part pattern possibility. Right? And then we are to expect prices to drop all the way right over here. Canadian dollar is going to be expected to be stronger as compared to US dollar. This is an upside down chart right over here too. Please understand that if the tool is right over here. Let's have a look at Japanese yen. Japanese yen have been so strong, uh, we have not seen uh, the weakness that we have seen in euro so far. So, what does that mean? Let me delete that all. It's behaving similar that we have, seen, not that. It's behaving with a similar strength that we have seen in. In British pound, okay. So I'm considering this whole price movement as an impulsive wave right over here. I'm expecting that we are to see an A, a B, and a C. Okay, let me delete that because you're gonna confuse it. So we have an impulsive and a corrective. We have another impulsive and a corrective. The part of the correction is complete. Once again, it's a very, it's going to be very, very ugly looking um, correction. So I'm expecting something like this. We need a confirmation definitely to say that we are going to go down right over here. Let's have a look on a 15 minute chart and see if we can actually find some um, better movements right over here. So as we can see that this is area is very important. The horizontal support needs to be drawn in this area. We are aware from the other pairs that we are to expect a bearish uh, out, uh, a bullish outlook in Japanese yen against US dollar. That's why we can actually confidently draw right over here. We can draw a trend line right over here to confirm our bias is getting correct, is getting confirmed right over here. So you can use a combination of the trend line, the horizontal line, and then we can expect for the prices to drop severely downward somewhere in this range right over here. It's going to be very, very ugly looking. Uh, correction a lot of people are gonna probably say that okay uh, because you're gonna spend good three four days right over here they're gonna call it a triple zigzag up to you if you want to because once we have you're gonna see five wave downs single wave correction another wave correction another wave correction so you can definitely call it a triple zigzag we'll dis discuss most I'm tilting towards an A a B 
or a C or maybe in this regard in Japan region a better way to be called would it as be uh, a zigzag and I think this zigzag is going to be making more sense right over here the point here is that we have seen an impulsive wave right over here either ending over here or over here and we have to see prices downward all right we can again once again we have no confirmation right over here normally wave B does not go that much beyond for an expanded flat right over here so in this regard we might have to consider it as a zigzag a triple zigzag let's have a look at New Zealand dollar and see what's happening in New Zealand dollar now New Zealand dollar is interesting on its own uh, because first of all we can see the structure is really good let me delete that point right over here we can delete that point right over here and we don't need this now this is from the previous study okay one thing we are sure right over here is that we can definitely use the trend line starting from over here now these trend lines or I think for now we can definitely use this one these trend lines are important they can help you see uh, where we are right now a lot of time a pullback is possible to come deeply in this region reason because we have not seen a confirmation prices going on and rechecking that trend line so which trend line the market is using either this one or the top one we, it's too early to say one thing we can confidently say that we are to expect prices going upward okay so in New Zealand dollar we have seen prices drop up right down over here they can go up right over here and then they can fall down right over here expanded flats are complicated we can definitely see wave C in larger um, size as compared to wave A so expect correction once we have seen the collection confirmation our bias remains on the bullish side okay now probably it's making more sense an impulsive and a corrective so within that we have completed wave A, wave B and wave C wave B uh, is complete right over here we can call it wave B is complete and we are right now going through wave C which is wave 1 and 2 so be really careful because the previous support is not being tested there is a possibility when prices go up and they can actually come all the way down right over here there is a possibility be really careful alright with this so we need a confirmation we will wait for the correction to complete and then our bias remains on the upside somewhere in this region no need to say much about uh, DXY which is dollar uh, index against different currencies the pattern is more clear uh, if even if you are new to Elliott wave analysis you can definitely uh, see the pattern let me delete all this and then you can definitely see the pattern and say okay from starting from this bottom we have a five structure right over here we have seen a clear correction right over here wave B is not that much beyond wave A so you can probably agree with me on that uh, and that's fine right over here and then we can see that we have kind of prices to go downward and we will be completing a stronger move downward probably in this range right over here which is right over here so we have A complete we have B complete and we have to expect prices come downward let's have a look on look on 15 minute chart to make sense of the movement this movement happened right at the end of the market on Friday evening so we can consider this as wave 1 price has gone up come down and go up right over here to give us a wave 2 and then we have to go further down right from over here so it's very interesting trading setup uh, it's more clear in some of the charts it's less clear, clear in some of the chart the beauty of this is that some of the markets are stronger and they are ahead of time few hours so once you see a pattern you can actually uh, trade it across multiple markets let's have a look and see get our point towards uh, gold and silver gold is very interesting um, uh, because we had a, a bullish outlook on I was able to confirm this I was able to trade um, this going market right over here very very close to uh, the turn and I was able to take benefit from over it from over here and the prices have come down we are going to discuss that let's have a look first of all 
what's happening on a larger time frame okay maybe some of you guys are looking at a double bottom and some of you guys are missing double bottom this one I'm talking about so we have a clear pattern wave going upward and coming downward could we see wave A right over here and wave B right over here and wave C right over here there's a potential next three four days are definitely uh, 22 this is 5th April Give me a moment, please. <coughs> excuse me about that so one possibility is that we have wave A wave B and wave C alright another possibility and I'm 50-50 on both of them another possibility is that we have seen the completion of wave of previous structure right over here the smaller is wave 1 and this is an A a B and a C probably ending in this region right over here we need to move this for um, today is 3rd Saturday Sunday is 4th and we can say Monday so we can push it to 9th delete that 10th that would be actually much better because we would be seeing oh 9th is that okay 9th is the last day of the market so right now I'm expecting something like this that once this correction is complete we're we gonna see something like this next resistance a pullback this is just a guideline okay uh, the the price movement the smaller waves are there just as a guideline I'm expecting that you're gonna see probably somewhere in 1775 quarter 8 uh, 25 pound less than $25 less than $1800 we'll round it off uh, in this area so I'm considering this as an A, a B and a C let's have a look on a smaller time frame 15 minute chart and see what's happening on a smaller time frame I'm still expecting that we have seen the price drop right over here we can go up right over here and we can come down to create wave 2 so I'm considering this as smaller wave 1 and this is going to be an A, B and C I'm not going to bet on it I'm betting on the longer side of the market alright but on a smaller time frame for those of you guys who are a little too agitated with the market price movement I'm considering that we have completed wave 1 and wave 2 would be completed prices have probably completed wave A, wave B and wave C right over here we can definitely see this as an A and A, B and C and prices coming down further down as you know there is a potential that we can actually come further down right over here but I'm expecting prices is not expected to go below 1688 and we should actually carry on our bullish price movement from over here considering this is wave 1 and 2 3 and 4 and 5 next week is expected to be bullish in gold let's have a look at silver and see what we are expecting in silver a hourly market uh, let's have a look first at 4 hours maybe we need to see the larger pattern first okay let me just delete that so you can actually see what's happening okay let me delete that and the end okay we have seen a lot of weakness in silver okay uh, the previous trend line is I wanted to indicate that the trend line this one the blue one uh, which is covering the right the bottom area of right over here when prices fell through it we have never retested it we kind of come it does happen that you kind of uh, come in the same level right over here so but we have never retested the trend line itself so once the bounce is happening I'm expecting that the bounce could probably be very very dangerous for short silvers or share sellers of silver we can definitely see something like this there's a potential for this happening right over here in that case if that happens what will be the case okay this is uh, 9 is fine if that happens in that case we can definitely call it a wave A a wave B and a wave C so be really careful if you are short selling silver be really careful because the volatility is really strong in silver so there's a high probability of this happening if not otherwise we are looking for something like this okay 
so in this regard we can see we have kind of an A, B and C pattern so prices can because the larger pattern is three wave structure which is a double zigzag a three wave structure and a five wave structure we can write over here in this uh, easily go right over here but there's a possibility we can either write over here or over here then we can compare the markets and we can see where exactly right now my main concern I'm expecting it to be somewhere in this range this is my main um, forecast for silver you're not gonna like it but this is what I'm divulging right now looking at the volatility of the market I'm expecting that you know something something like this is can possibly happen on the silver market I'm bullish on silver and I'll be considering this as an A or B and a C pattern which is not very clear in gold market it is very it seems to be very achievable and doable for silver in the next week we can definitely consider an A a B and a C but I'll also keep a look at that in case prices go right over here and find the resistance right over here and then start to go down all right but next week seems to be bullish for market uh, in gold and silver let's have a look at GDX itself as you guys can look at it GDX is more bearish uh, as compared to gold and silver itself we have a silver we can match up about it even it has dropped be way below as compared to silver as well so a little uh, comeback is to be expected in, s in this market right over here uh, I'm expecting that we can actually see and prices go right over here in this regard okay I'm not expecting all the way right over here there's also a potential that we do not go all the way right over here and we can actually start moving up and down in this region right over here because GDX right now nobody is trying to buy GDX a lot everybody is kind of shortening GDX so understand when the gold goes up right over here all the way there's a probability for GDX to go up and down within the same region there's a prob probability but let's say it does go up in that regard I'm not ex that expecting that to continue all the way right over here I'm expecting that we are still bearish on the longer time frame in gold silver and GDX so next week is going to be very interesting whatever happens I'm not considering this to be a tradable market I'm not considering GDX to be I would love to make wait for GDX and see where that ha uh, the correction ends and then short it after we have seen the bullish move in gold and silver that we are expecting because GDX is just way way weaker a similar behavior I believe is hap expected to happen in Newmont Corporation a Newmont as we can see that there is a probability that we can actually see some pullback all the way right over here and then go down so Newmont is still bearish you guys can that are looking at it clearly wave 1 and 2 3 and 4 so we, there is a possibility if we can see something like this this can actually create an expanded flat that will be completing wave 4 and then we have to go down Matala, let's have a look at Matala. Okay, once again, I leave Matala right now alone on its own. We'll wait for the gold and silver to complete its uh, bullish outlook next week. And when we see the bearish outlook in gold and silver, I'm going to uh, ask for you know more be favorable, favorable forecast on the bearish side. So Matala is I'm not gonna advice for going long at this moment there's possibility of it moving on the sideways all the time so that's why because we already jumped about up on Friday so that if it's going to move sideways then we are kind of reaching on the top level of the price range let's have a look at wheat and precious metals so wheat and precious metals let's have a look on a weekly time frame if you guys are interested in weekly time frame this works like that. I'm, I'll do that for Matella and Newmont as well, okay? And uh, GDX as well. This was the forecast that I've given for a good while right now. That we have to see prices drop all the way right over here. This is a larger time frame in wheat and precious metal. And this is up if it's going to not, because we're not seeing a smaller time frame bullish uh, outlook. Instead, because the weakness in wheat and is so much, so next week we can probably wait for the prices to give us some breathing uh, chance and then go down further but once I, I this is what I'm looking at on the larger time frame right now an A, a B and a C and then go up swiftly Metalla if you want to see the same pattern as well here is Metalla that once Metalla is complete I'm expecting Metalla to complete somewhere around in this region and then jump up swiftly in this region right over here which is eight dollars so this is going to be uh, I have pointed this to be um, with a lot of uh, 
uh, people on YouTube I, have, I think the video is available for long what's the future of gold and silver so if you guys are interested in long-term analysis of gold and silver please go back to my channel and uh, it's uh, called what's the future of gold and silver I think I shared that analysis in two three weeks ago so I'm expecting for the drive right over here and there's a very sharp reversal in uh, stocks gold miners Newmont as well let's have a look at Newmont what's I'm looking at Newmont as well so this is what we are looking at Newmont right now fairly bearish in next I would say a couple of months and then very very strong reversal is expected in Newmont and this is the beauty of it so I'm expecting for the, them to rock bottom and then this will be the amazing point to buy by gold miners and silver miners I hope that my content was actually uh, of some worth to you please uh, push that thumbs up button so more and more people can actually watch the video wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye